Hey guys, back in the brew shed for a Sunday afternoon. Beautiful day today, great day to be brewing. And I'm gonna trial one of my own new recipes on the Brewy Plus today. If you followed me for a while, you would know I'm a real advocate for great tasting mid-strength craft beer. As a family man, it's not always possible for me to be able to drink those big kick-ass IPAs and have a session on them. No, occasionally I have to uh, do the right thing, do a little bit of adulting, put on my big boy pants and keep myself tidy. You know, they're not that easy to make because what you're effectively doing is taking the ingredients out of a beer that give that beer all that character and flavour that you love. And yet you're expecting that beer to retain that character and flavour even though you've cut the guts out of it. So I reached out to a few brewers in the community to get a few tips on how to make this new beer of mine pretty schmick. Dry hopping is absolutely key here. Don't be shy. Mash in around about the 70 degree mark. Use wheat or oats to help with better mouthfeel and carapils for body. You know, I've been drinking a few of these Rover Henty Street Ales in the hot tub of late. It's an awesome sessionable beer that comes in a can, and it's about 4.3%. It's an absolute ripper. So today I'm going to create my first test beer along those lines. I'm going to call it the Summer Shack Pale Ale, and it's going to be a very light beer, sessionable, around about 4%, hop to the hilt with Galaxy. I just want to produce something that's fruity, refreshing, and sessionable. Absolutely perfect for those long afternoons at the shack on the beach with my mates just having a few beers. But I also want to make this beer really approachable so those mates of mine down at the shack that drink mainstream lagers, they'll come over, try the beer off my tap and hopefully there's a chance I can convert them over to drinking craft beer. Alrighty, so I've milled up my grains. Here's my false bottom going into the machine. People always ask me why do I sanitise the false bottom? I don't know, I just like to. I sanitise everything just to be sure, to be sure. Here's all the hop containers going in. Each section, we'll fill those in a second. And uh, while I'm doing this, I'll explain to you about the recipe while you watch me do this in fast forward. So I'm keeping the recipe pretty simple. I'm going with 2.2 kilos of pale malt, 0.8 kilos of wheat, and 0.3 kilos of carapils. I'm gonna mash in at 70 degrees, and then mash out at 76 degrees with a 30 minute sparge at 78 degrees. Then a 60 minute boil with minimal hops just to get around that 25 IBU and then flame out additions as well and that's it. There you go, how easy is that? All I've got to do now is press start and I'll come back and I'll check on the brew through all the different stages to make sure everything's going okay. A few hours, we'll have some beer. has been a huge day in the brew shed today. I've cold crashed, I've dry hopped, I've bottled, I've force carbonated. I've brewed this fantastic summer shack ale here, so I'm stoked, what a great day. And I'm pretty happy with the way the first effort here is looking. I reckon that's gonna be fantastic. I've hit my OG of 1.039, so I'm really happy with that. Uh, the next step is to throw in the US05 yeast here and I'll uh, put it into ferment in my temp controlled fermenter, which by the way, I'm bloody loving as well. And then uh, in a few days, we'll, uh, we'll just absolutely dry hop the shit out of this thing with some more Galaxy. And uh, hopefully in a few weeks, we'll either be drinking it from the keg or for some bottles and uh, we'll, we'll test it and uh, see how it is. I've had a bloody fantastic day. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. So until we talk again in this great big craft beer land of ours, cheers to great beers.